Sophie Turner, Sansa Stark. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm quite good. Nobody ever asked me that. Um, oh. So it's it's very uh, it's very nice of you to ask. My blood okay, pressure's probably. a touch on the high side, but the uh, <laughs> the doctors are monitoring it. Um, otherwise, things are fine. <laughs> Uh, sleeping quite well. Okay, that's night. good to hear. I've given you too much information there, haven't I? A little bit, yeah. Now, you are a princess on the television. Yes. Um, are, are, do you expect to be treated like a princess in real life then? No, no. I mean, nobody kind of treats me like a princess in real life. Everyone calls me weird. Well, especially my brothers. What, what, what do they say? What, what's weird about you? I'm just kind of abnormal. You don't you know, seem abnormal. I mean, you, you, I'm not spotting any abnormalities. Well, you know, like round school, the younger years will be like sitting chatting and I'll kind of run around with my friends like playing Tig or something. <laughs> really immature. You haven't lost your playful spirit. spirit. You're still I in haven't. touch with your inner child. Yes, of course. Mm. I'm still a child. So how many brothers have you got? I've got two. One of them is here with me today. And what ages are they? Oh, uh, 24 and 22. So older brothers. Older brothers. So they're, they're not letting you do the princess thing at all? No, definitely not. Has there been any rowing which has ended with, a, with a, a, a phrase like, just because you're a princess on television doesn't mean you can behave like that in real life? No, we don't argue that much anymore. We used to, um, but no. Over what like sort that. of things? Um, I don't know. I think we'd like just hit each other randomly and then we'd argue about it. It's good. It builds up your pain threshold yeah, for adult yeah, life. Yeah, it's good. And yeah. it'll help in Game of Thrones, won't it? Yes. <laughs> um, so, speaking of Game of Thrones, you are 16 now. How, how old were you when you first auditioned? I was 13, nearly three years ago that I auditioned now. Does that seem like forever? I don't know. It does kind of seem like forever, but then, I don't know, it's only been three years, and my life hasn't changed that much, so it's kind of easier to imagine. Um, so is it just like a thing you go off and do sometimes, like some people like, go off and be uh, in a band um, or some people go off and go to scouts or whatever, you just go off and yeah, go to Game of Thrones? Yeah, it kind of feels like a holiday yeah. because, you know, it's kind of during the summer holidays as well, which helps. So it, it does just feel like an extended holiday. Mm, that's uh, it's good to have the a job. Best holiday. Off. Yeah, and, and then what did you do for your audition? How did you get into it? How did you hear about it? Um, I heard about it through my drama teacher, Mrs Barker Doherty. I owe everything to her. Does she teach you good vocal warm-ups? Well, she doesn't teach my school anymore, but she used to. So what, what is a good vocal warm-up? Oh, I don't know. Just making really, really weird noises, it seems. Before every play, it's always like, <laughs> That seemed like the kind of routine. So, so she'd heard about this thing? She'd heard about it, and she kind of put me forward. And um, another drama teacher rang up my mum, and he was like, look, this is just kind of... A small thing, she's, it's not going to go anywhere, she's not going to get it. Um, just to get her familiar with mm. casting agents and stuff. And then um, a few weeks later, I'm in the final seven girls. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I forgot to tell my mum about it originally. I was kind of... Where did she think you were going? Well, it to was at shop. my school. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so, um, and it was during the school day, so I yep. just kind of didn't think to tell her about it. And I'd been to a couple of auditions before and nothing came of it. So, so what like, did you have to do once you were in the final seven? How did you clinch it? Um, callback after callback, auditioning with kind of different people. Mm -hmm. An audition with a girl who was auditioning for Aria. Um, and then I auditioned with Maisie. And that seemed to work because that was my last audition. That yeah, you two do. just clicked straight away. Yeah. I mean, I remember walking in the room and we just like kind of high fived each other and got on with it. <laughs> Great. And, um, and what do you remember about your first day on set? Were you apprehensive? Was it like starting a new school? It was that feeling that really really nervous feeling where you feel like you're going to be sick because you don't know what you're doing like there are people running around you like cameras going everywhere and you're just kind of standing in the middle like what do i do <laughs> um and it was a big scene as well it was the king's arrival so you know you're standing there with sean bean and you're like <laughs> hi it's just really overwhelming but it was amazing yep. yeah and uh, is it a lot of sitting around are you, are you doing nothing for a lot of the time yeah, there's a lot of sitting around. So how do, how do you uh, how do you feel that? Do you sit in a dressing room? Do you sit in a caravan? What's what's the deal? I sit in my trailer and my mum and I play I Spy. In the trailer? <laughs> in the trailer. That must be a pretty packed trailer, otherwise you're going to run out of things quite quickly, aren't you? Mm. Well, we kind of end up like pointing to blue tack on the wall and stuff. <laughs> it gets tedious. Um, let, let me ask you about Joffrey. So we had Maisie here the other week and she said he's just a lovely guy in real life. I can't believe it. He's too horrible to... He must have a very dark side. You can tell me. Is he oh, horrible? okay. He's horrible. No, he's not. <laughs> um, he 
is one of the nicest, funniest guys I've ever met, Jack. So how, how does he switch into that then? Is it, is it alarming to you to be in a scene where you can be, yeah. be that awful? Like, it's crazy. One of the scenes that I have to do is a really horrible scene where he's like pointing a crossbow at me. Yeah. And um, as soon as they yelled cut, he like came over and he was like, all right, Steph, how are you? You know, like the best Irish accent I can do. It's not bad. Um, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, he's just like a really genuine guy. He's, I don't know how he does it, but he does it. I mean, because he must be, he's such a figure of hatred. Even people like me, even though that I know that he's an actor playing a part, I want to punch him in the face. Yeah. I've never punched anyone in the face, so far. No. Well, I'll, you, I'm sure you'll have a chance to do that. Oh, I hope so. I dearly hope so. Maybe with, I hope so maybe too, with, maybe for with your <laughs> sake. an implement. Um, you, mentioned, uh, you mentioned Maisie before, and of course, uh, um, Aria and, and Sansa and Bran were a bit of a gang in the first series, but you've all, yeah. you've all been split up. Is, is that um, true in terms of how you're working? Are you split up? Are you separate? Yeah, it's literally our characters kind of reflect what we're doing. I mean, we were so together in the first season and then like Maisie didn't go away from Belfast at any point and I was in Croatia and Isaac was on location somewhere in Belfast and it was just kind of, we'd all gone our separate ways, we hardly saw each other. So did you keep in touch, do you instant message, do you Facebook and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, Facebook, texting, everything. Do you like Sansa? I love Sansa. I think she's a brilliant character. Um, a lot of people would like to disagree with me, but mm. I think she's one of the best characters because in this season, she's so complex. Like, yep. she's not like some of the other characters. She has two layers to her and, you know, she has, you know, this mask of kind of her love for Joffrey and how she admires him. And then underneath, you can, you can see it in a lot of the scenes that she, she loathes being there and she's absolutely petrified, but she mm. has to kind of pretend to keep herself alive. How much do you think of this love for Joffrey? How much do you think of that as just duty? You know, she's got a sense of her destiny and what's expected of her. Do you think she genuinely loves him? I don't think she loves him. Just she doesn't love him at all. Not since he killed her father. He chopped off um, Ned's head. So she's literally just pleasing him to stay mm, alive. By the other time. Yeah. And uh, did you get to work with um, uh, Peter Dinklage, Tyrion, much this yes. time round? How's that then? I'd been anticipating it for so long. I was like, yes, Peter, come on. Um, it was amazing. He is kind of like a spectacle to watch, you know, like I've learned so much from him because he's so relaxed on set. Yeah. It's unreal. Like he'll just mess around with props and it'll look amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, how do you do that? Um, he's just amazing to work with and he's so funny. Him and Jack are like double act, honestly. They just talk about The Simpsons and stuff on set. It's weird. Is there any um, sort of cracking up laughing during takes? Um, not really. Not really. I mean, uh, Conleth, who plays um, Varys, he kind of pulls faces at me um, while I'm doing my shots. And is there any particular scene we should look for in the knowledge that he's doing that? There is. Um, I, there was last season when she was pleading for um, mercy, her <laughs> father's mercy, which was kind of a big scene for me, <laughs> and I didn't really need it. But um, it was really funny, actually. And there was a shot that was like there and I kept cracking up, but partially because I kept saying injection instead of affection or something. So. Well, there's, there's one to rewatch on the DVDs then mm. with that insider knowledge. And uh, do you think this has taken over your life at all? Or is, or is it something like you said before that you can keep compartmentalised in, in holiday time and the rest of the time you're just getting on with life normally? I don't know. I'm very grounded because of my family and my friends. They all keep me grounded. Like my best friend Maddie, she kind of insults me every day. And Always good to have a best friend. Rounded. That's a good quality in a friend, yeah. best friend, someone who will insult you every day. Exactly. Um, so yeah, my life hasn't really changed that much, except for going to like awesome DVD launch parties and stuff and interviews like this. Yeah. Um, it hasn't changed that much. You've had ups and downs then. Awesome DVD launch parties. No, like no, this. no. This and is a, this is a high. I well, swear. <laughs> then I, th I think you've got s such low expectations. No. <laughs> uh, and uh, and and what next? I mean, have you thought about what you, you want to do? More acting? What's what's your plan? I've always wanted to be an actor since I was like three, and I want to continue doing that for like the rest of my life. I want to be, I want to kind of do everything. I want to do theatre. I'm not great at theatre, but I'll try. Um, <laughs> theatre television I've accomplished that yep. and I want to do film at some point in my life so you just got those two to tick off the bottom uh, exactly. tick off the list exactly great well thanks so much for talking to us Sophie. no problem thank you for having me